In other news tonight, a Bahamian company making a giant step and taking on its first international job. It comes as the new premier of the Turks and Caicos Islands settles into office. Clint Watson tells us more. One of the first tasks by the new Turks and Caicos administration is to fix several roads that are in need of repair. Having heard of the success of the Bahamas striping group of companies, Premier Charlene Cartwright Robinson was pleased to make the connection. Looking to see the work that Bahamas striping has done, in fact, to inspect the work that has been done, period, on Lighthouse Road. And I'm very, very impressed with the quality of work that I see as it is. Premier Cartwright Robinson says she is excited about the local component to provide training for natives. Well, I understand that there's six of them that were actually trained for this job, so I'm very grateful to Bahamas Striping Company for that. Well, I welcome that. I really do welcome that, and I'm grateful that the company has taken the initiative, and I hope we can do that on a different level as well, because there's so much I'm sure that we can gain from the Bahamas, and likewise, there are things that we can also um, lend to the Bahamas, so I'm grateful for that exchange. In fact, the Premier says job opportunities were among the factors considered as Bahamas Striping was able to hire some of those who were deemed unemployable. I knew of this project, I knew of this company before he actually came to Turks and Caicos because we saw the story on ZNS at some point um, where we were told his life story. And I wish that he would take the opportunity before he leaves to do an interview so that young people will see that. This is something that is important to me because apart from not finishing high school, we do have young troubled men who may have run afoul of the law and this is an opportunity to show them that they can start their own business and they can do well. Bahamas Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, has been an advocate for the company. He says on a regional level, there are discussions that other CARICOM states can use the expertise of the company. And it's something he wants to see Bahamas Striping and other Bahamian businesses access. It's just a psychological barrier that people have to overcome, so I'm glad that both Atari and Donald have overcome that barrier. And I think the work uh, speaks for itself. It's good work. Uh, it's good demonstration of behavior and expertise and the two behaviors down here um, working on the project and there's a teaching role for the people here who are working on the project in Turks and Caicos so it's all, all around quite good and I want to congratulate them for uh, doing this and for showing the flag overseas and quality of work and activity in the Bahamas. Bahamas Striping also donated the resurfacing of a basketball court in a local community of Grand Turks. 15-year-old Omar Garland is a resident of that community. How I feel about it, um, this is the first court the island has ever had, and it, it, it needed this. It needed this. Like, the court was, like, it's neglected. So the court really needed this. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.